Hey guys, welcome to On Fire Roblox Scripting, and in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to create a multiplayer, you know, pickup tool. What that means is if there's a tool on the ground, that tool can be picked up by all the players on the server. So let's just get right into it. So first thing you want to do is go under the view tab and open up the explorer and properties. Uh, after that, we're going to need an actual tool. So if you already have one, that's perfect. You can you can skip to the timestamp on the screen right now. Um, however, I'm just going to go into the home tab. I'm just going to open up the toolbox over here and uh, I'm just going to get like a random tool. For example, let's get the, the flashlight right here. Uh, so make sure that it doesn't start in the starter pack so that it is available in the workspace. Um, I, I'm actually just going to make it like a little bigger so it's easier to see for the video. Once you have your tool inside your game, inside the workspace, what you want to do is just open it up and you want to find like a handle or like the primary part of your actual tool uh, for most tools it's going to be the handle so under the handle you just want to click the plus and you're going to enter in a proximity prompt and then under the proximity prompt if you go into the properties you can change different parts of the proximity prompt for example the action text this can just be a uh, pick up the key codes over here that's just for PC and console players, what they need to press or hold. Uh, if they need a hold, then you can change the hold duration. So two would be two seconds they need to hold the key code to activate the proximity prompt. Max activation distance is uh, how far the player needs to be to activate the proximity prompt. So like 15 should be pretty good. Object text, this is just going to be a flashlight. So that will work. Uh, and then you can turn off requires line of sight. Um, unless like your tool is like hidden behind a board and that's the whole purpose of it. But, yeah, you can play around the settings a little bit until you like it. So if you like play test the game and you walk up to your tool, that's what the proximity prompt should look like. When you walk up to it, it should pop up just like that. So once you're happy with your proximity prompt under proximity prompt, click the plus and enter in a script and you can now write what I write. The script will be in the description down below. So let's start off by referencing some variables. So let's go local procs, and this is just the script.parent, and then local tool, and this is gonna be equivalent to the procs.parent, which is the handle. So when you go up one more, so dot parent. After that, we can now write our function that picks up the tool, so pick up. So this is gonna be procs.triggered colon connect function. We're gonna put in brackets, and then we're gonna write in player, and then go down line. So what this does is when the proximity prompt is triggered, we're going to get the player that triggered the proximity prompt. And then um, this is optional if you want to add it or not, but this is just going to be a check if the player already has this tool. So like if they already have it, then we won't give them another one. So to do that, we're going to need to get the player's character. So local char, this is going to be short for character, and that's just going to be the player dot character. And then now we're going to check if the player has or does not have the tool inside their backpack. So um, if not, then this is going to be char colon find first child. And then we're going to find the tool dot name then. So that checks if the tool is inside the actual character. And if it's not, then we're also going to check if it's in their backpack. So if not, then player dot backpack colon find first child tool dot name then so if it passes both of these non checks which means they don't have it in them or in their backpack then we can give the player their tool so then we're going to create a new tool so local new tool equals to tool colon clone and then we want to destroy the proximity prompt inside the player so new tool colon wait for child and this is going to be the handle and then inside the handle we're going to wait for the proximity prompt so wait for child proximity prompt i'm just going to scroll just a little bit and then we're going to destroy that proximity prompt so colon destroy and then after that we can now give it to the player so new tool dot parent equals to player dot backpack just like that and that is all you have to do for this script so if I go test it out right here, if I walk up to the flashlight, um, the proximity prompt will show up. And if I hold E, as you can see, I now have this uh, comically large flashlight inside my hand that I can use. 
Uh, if I try to pick up another tool, uh, it will not give me another one because I already own one. Even if I hold it out, uh, it will still not give me another one. Now, if you don't care how many items uh, players get, so like they can get infinite amount of this tool, then you can just copy these three lines, uh, delete all the if statements, and you don't really need the character either. And you can just paste them back in just like that. If you do it like this, then you can pick up this tool an infinite amount of times. So I can just keep gaining flashlights over and over again, just like that. So I have a bunch of flashlights I can work with. And another thing you might notice is with some free tools, um, if you just like walk, um, they will actually go into your inventory, like, just like that. Uh, so if you want to prevent that, then what you can do is if you go into the handle, and then under the properties of the handle, scroll down until you find a property called can touch and just make sure that that is off. So if you try it now, you just try walking over the tool, uh, nothing will happen because uh, the can touch property is now false. And one more issue you may or may not find if you're using um, tools is sometimes the handle will be anchored. So if you go into the properties, uh, sometimes this box over here is checked. Um, in that case, what happens is once you pick up the actual tool, if you try to use it, uh, you will just fall into the ground for some odd reason or, or just start floating because the tool will be anchored to a specific position. So like, I mean, like it is kind of funny, but obviously we don't want these game breaking bugs in our game. So just make sure that, uh, anchored is not true but yeah that'll be it for this uh, tutorial um if you liked it make sure to like comment subscribe and share and i'll see you guys next time bye